Hey guys, welcome to the Nicholas Engel Experience. I wanted to share a couple of thoughts with you today on suicide. contributed to an article in Men's Health magazine on the terrifyingly high and increasing rate of men's suicide. And having been there in those dark places when I was drinking and the drinking had stopped working, suicide really did seem like a viable option for me. And the thing is that we don't see a way out we don't believe that we have any other means of getting a break from our pain getting the opportunity to rest getting the opportunity to just really not feel our pain anymore because for me the drinking literally had stopped working at that point and up to that point even i was drinking about 20 drafts a day and it just didn't help anymore because I'd wake up in the morning and the chaos and the destruction from the night before would be compounded on top of all of those nights of chaos and destruction. So for me, suicide became an option and I'd learned that from my mom because unfortunately when she was 40 years old, she took her own life. The thing is that and I'm proof of it because I'm here. The thing is that it's a very, very permanent solution to a temporary challenge, to something that we have to deal with. Now, when I say temporary, I don't mean fleeting. I don't mean short term. I just mean it's not permanent and it may not be for the rest of our life. Unfortunately, if we do kill ourselves, then that problem is for the rest of our life. That's the challenge. How do we deal with life? How do we deal with our pain? How do we deal with what we have to on a daily basis when we don't see another way out, when everything we know stops working? What worked for me, and that's pretty much all I can really share, and having seen that, Again, with so many, just move this mic, with so many other people in treatment and in recovery that um, we just have to reach out and we have to talk. The thing that really benefited me the most from going into treatment and going into recovery was the fact that I realized I was not alone in my pain. When I was drinking and when I was on my own, and when I was contemplating killing myself, those dark, lonely nights sitting on my couch with my gun in my mouth, asking God to give me the courage to kill myself, I felt that I was the only one going through this pain. I felt that I was the only one going through these difficulties. I felt that I was alone in what I had to deal with and that either no one would know how to help me or no one would care to help me or no one was even able to help me. And when I went into treatment, I realized that I was not alone in my pain. I sat in a room full of people going through exactly what I was going through. So perhaps you don't have to go into treatment. You don't have to go into a treatment facility, or perhaps you do. Either way, reach out and talk to someone. Just reach out and say, I'm having a difficult time. I'm thinking about killing myself. It takes more courage to share your pain than it does to conceal your pain. It takes more courage to reach out and ask for help than it does to sit quietly. And the reason for that is every time we reach out, every time we ask for help, we open ourselves up to being rejected. That's what we believe. It's not true, but that's what we believe. 
We believe that people will not be interested in us. We believe that we're not even worthwhile. We're not even worthwhile enough to ask for help. We don't bring enough value to this world. And, you know, why would we want to, why would the world want us here? But that's not true. There's many things I've learned over the years of being sober and working with people in recovery and talking to people and sharing with people. The thing that I've realized is that everything negative that we believe about ourselves is not true. The things that we believe about ourselves that are so terrible are not true. We are all just doing the best we can with what we have and where we are. All we have to do is reach out and talk to someone and ask for help. That's the first step. It's not the cure. And then we can start down the journey of getting help and starting to build ourselves. There's so much out there that talks about, you know, we come into this world alone and we leave this world alone and in between. We're not alone. We are really not alone. And, I, and I've learned that time and time again. The moments when I thought I was alone, I was lying to myself. The moments when I felt utterly, utterly alone and on my own, I wasn't believing what was true. There is always someone willing to help. We have to find someone that you feel safe to talk to. I mean, even and, and that could literally be, you know, a, a trainer at the gym or someone at school or a li- you know, a librarian, someone that you feel safe to talk to. Just take a moment and say to them, listen. This is coming out of, you know, the blue, but I need help. I'm not coping and I just need to talk to someone. Can I talk to you for a few moments? That's it. And the thing that we have in this life that is the most precious, whether we believe it or not, because I certainly didn't believe it within myself, the thing that we have that is most precious is ourselves. Again, everything negative that we believe about ourselves is not true. I want you to think about that. If you take a pen and paper and you write down everything that you believe about yourself that is negative and everything that you believe about yourself that is positive and wonderful and amazing and a value add, and you look at the two, you'll realize one list, the positive, is true. And one list, the negative is not true. Just because we believe something with all our heart doesn't make it true. Just because we've done bad things in our life when we're in pain doesn't make us bad people. So, if you are sitting in a dark place, if you can't see a way out, listen to me. I sat on my couch several times with my gun in my mouth asking God who I believe I have a very good relationship with asking God to give me the courage to kill myself because I just needed the pain to stop I just needed the voices in my head to stop I just needed to stop tearing myself apart for a moment so I could catch my breath. And the only alternative, the only option available to me, I believed, was to end my life. And I'm very grateful that I didn't, because as dark as those days were, and as dark as that place that I was in was, it doesn't compare in the slightest to the amazing, wonderful, beautiful light that I get to experience every day. The fact that I get to make myself proud of myself because I show up for things that are important. I show up for those who need me. And I show up for myself. I live a life and I act in a way that I could not imagine. I think and I feel in a way that I could never imagine, that I could only dream of. I protect myself. I keep myself safe. I prioritize myself. I love myself 
things that I could not possibly imagine. You noticed I'm not talking about, you know, um, achieving massive things in life, you know, earning hundreds of millions of rands or dollars or buying big houses and big boats and all of these things that I, I believe were so important. What's really important is the development of the love that I have for myself and the care that I have for myself coming from a place that was so desperate and so dark. So what I'm saying to you is if you are in that place that is so desperate and so dark, look at me and understand that we can get through this. All you have to do is talk to someone. All you have to do is write down that list of the amazing awesomeness that you have inside of you. And then write down the list of everything negative that you believe about yourself and understand that none of that is true. Every one of us deserves to be in this world. And we can all make this world a better place. So just talk to someone. Reach out and talk to someone. You're not alone in your pain. You're not the first person to go through this. And you do not have to go through this alone. Guys, look after yourselves. Love yourselves. Look for your light. Believe in your light. Understand your light. And it, it's amazing to see to see light shine in people. I, I just get look look at what I'm doing right now. I get to sit and talk to you guys here about this. Sure, it's incredible. I'm very very grateful that I'm here today. That I'm alive today. Because I get to share my pain and the lessons that I learned through it with you. And I hope, I pray that in some small way, it can help you. Have a beautiful day. Reach out. Talk to someone. I love you guys. Us.